Hey everybody, this is Dave coming to you from the Gaming Cave, and today we're going to do an open the box of Title Bout 2 Game Design by Jim Trunzo, Straight Jab Media. All right, so this is kind of a little bit different thing. This is a boxing game, of course, as you can tell by the title, and it's an updated design of an original game called Title Bout that was published by Avalon Hill in 1979. And the cool thing was my dad bought that game in 1979 and me and him played for hours and hours on this. My dad was uh, uh, as, at, in high school and before he went into the military, he was an amateur boxer. So boxing, he loved boxing. I learned to love boxing and of course, our favorites are the heavyweights and then usually followed by the middleweights. So um, so this game is an updated version of the old title bout. So I found it online. I was like, cool, I want to order it. So there are some ways to um, keep the cost down on the game. And one of the ways is there's some things you can print yourselves if you don't mind doing that or you can pay to do it. One of the things I printed myself was the revised rule book. And so I did that. And so what I want to see is what comes with the game the way I ordered it. This is a bundle that they had that includes the heavyweights. So let's take a look and let's see what we got in here. So we have the paper and we immediately have a, a bundle of um, some cards, heavyweight. And then we have these, this is what I really like are these cases to keep the cards in. So as you see, they fit in there really nice. Um, this is some more. These heavyweights came in different um, sets, uh, different things about them um, that we that I ordered. And here's some more. Um, we'll see what's in that. And then we have these are the boxing action cards. So these are the heart of the game. These are where everything happens off of these cards. So this is a card-driven game, no dice. <clears throat> and boxer cards so here's my heavyweights okay so we have a bunch of them and i ordered an extra empty um, box this is the large size for those heavyweights to go in so i'm i was thinking ahead when i did this i did a lot of of um looking and seeing what i was going to get and trying to prepare for the game uh then in here not sure what we have here. These are, oh, it's, it looks like these are just the orders, um, what I picked. I'll get all these out of the way. And then, see what we got here. The last thing is, surprise, we can't tell. All right. So let me grab my scissors real quick. And let's see what we got here. So we'll give this a cut. Give this a cut. Take that off. Take that off. We have this little cover sheet. Yep, it's just uh, nothing there. Okay, these are the revised um, knockdown and knockout tables. So when they published this game back in 2017, they published a game board. And the game board had all these tables on there, but as usual, they found things they wanted to do different. So these come with the, as part of the bundle. They're on nice cardstock and looks like they're single sided. So we have the knockdown, knockout tables, recover, knockdown recoveries, the time of the stoppage, you know, those things. Then we have the revised cuts and swelling table. So injuries happen during a fight. This is where that comes from. Uh, the referee table, corner men, conditions. So we have different things happening there. Here we have some more of the revised cuts and swelling tables. So part of the scoring system, uh, clinching table. Okay. And then the referee error table. So this is new referees make errors. And, of course, we have the foul table here. 
So these are all the different fouls that can happen depending on your fighter's rating, which we'll go through. Um, and the reaction to losing a point. Okay, so a lot of optional rules. And then, like I said, I printed off the rules. <clears throat> so, knowing, or, or maybe I shouldn't say knowing, but suspecting that we weren't going to get a game board. So this game, I guess technically you don't have to have it, you just picture it in your mind. But, one of the things I found odd was, you got to keep track of the points scored in the fight. So instead of printing off their game board, because when I did, it came out really small on an 8.5 by 11. So I'd either have to print it on 11 by 17, make it bigger, or I could do some cut and paste, which is what I did. So this is my game board, and then these tables will sit around and we re reference all of those. The original game board, if you go on the game site and see it, you can print that out, but none of the tables are any good now you got to use the new one so it doesn't do any good so i made my own little game board and i bought the little counter pieces here to use so i can use the red and the blue for the fighters you got blue boxer boxer one and red boxer two you keep these to score how many points your fighters are earning during the thing, during the round you also need to know if they move into these different ring positions because it does affect the game so interestingly they made the decision not to include a game board but in my mind kind of need a game board <laughs> so i printed i made one i'll end up i'll post this on board game geek in case anybody else needs a game board to me kind of need that the rules they are nice and clear for me having been a veteran of title bout follow along really easily and and they show up they're nice and clean um, nice examples key concepts that he puts here in black um, so you know major change so this is a change they made okay so these key concepts major changes are in there um, and they go through a nice flow chart of what to do with punch land punch miss clinching okay so this goes, like I said, it, it explains the game, how to read the table. And this is all with the new updated table. So we have lots of, lots of information um, that you go through with. And there are advanced rules, which I will be playing with. Okay. Then there is um, strategies that you can use in the game for your fighters. So there's ways to apply the strategies. And in the old game, they had strategies also when you were playing. You could do it single player or two player um, so that affected how the fighter fought. Um, so we have that here. And then we have, trying to get to it. They have a little example of the new strategy system that they said was coming soon, but I printed it off. And then you have strategy, title bout strategy cards. So this tells you based on um, what your strategy selection is against what everybody else is doing. And it tells you the effects it has on your fighter. Okay. So all the different strategies are there. And there are several more than there were in the original game. I think the original game had... Fight inside, fight outside, um, offensively and fight outside, defensively. It had go for the knockout, go all out for the knockout, and then there was a um, cover-up. So six strategies. Here, they have solo strategy rules, which we're going to investigate this and see how this works. But it does use a random number, and we can draw that right out of the cards. So we'll... We'll see how to do that, or I can use a 20-sided die, it looks like, and roll. But we will have um, a way to do that for the boxers, depending on what rounds they're in, what strategies. And then these were just the printed of the tables that I got. So that's the game. Now, I also uh, went in and developed the um, score sheet 
that we're going to use. So when I when I shoot the game, I will print off a printed copy. But I I took what they had on their website and I modified it again, and I call it the unofficial scorecard because I made some liberties with it. But I wanted a scorecard on my computer that I could use to say. Um, I wanted it to do the math for me. Well, I'm getting lazy in my old age. I want the computer to do the work. So it's simple. You just add some formulas to the ones that need to calculate, and boom, there it is. Same thing with the judges' score. I don't want to sit there at the end of the fight and count up. I just want to look at the bottom and go, who's who won the fight, right? So I modified that. And then I also built a spreadsheet to keep track of the boxers and who they fight. And then... I, in my own limited wisdom of how to do it, um, I built a ranking system that everything will calculate. We can and I automated it so you can rank them, and the fighters will sort. The fighters will sort and adjust, and you can get your rankings so that you'll have a way to do that. And then I also added in a method to cause some randomness to the fighters. So. It does, it's not realistic that you got a hundred and something fighters here and they can fight every week. The first week everybody can fight because nobody's fought yet. But after that I have a system also that I have that will restrict when fighters can fight. And when you start to, incre when you start to add that into the game, then that creates some randomization and for when you start doing your actual title fights and contenders and who's available. So I'll put all that on Board Game Geek with a probably run a little video how to explain how to do that off my computer, see how that works. So let's take a look at um, let's take a look at one of these um, fight cards. I know this one's still got the wrapping on it, but um, this is Cassius Clay, heavyweight. He's rated an 11. He's a B. He was a boxer, and of course they gave him his nip, his nip, his nickname, the Louisville Lip. Back when he was Cassius Clay, that's what they called him. Uh, specialty, he's a strong closer, so that adds. Then it shows what his control factor is against a boxer or against a slugger. So that is a, you know, important part of it. His aggressiveness in the ring, his killer instinct, so when he hurts a fighter, he's pretty high for killer instinct. He's got great endurance. He doesn't foul much. He's got great defense at a minus six. Um... His uh, knockdown rating and then his knockout, he's very hard to knock out. He doesn't cut. And um, <clears throat> and then his um, oh, CP, what was that? Oh, counter punch. So he's a pretty good counter puncher too. And then he has a fatigue side. So if he runs out of endurance, this is what he is when he's fatigued. Okay. And then they have actions, so strategies. This is, I believe, how many strategies you can have of each one of these. I'll, I'll verify that. And then punches landed, punches missed, clinching. So this is tells you what the fighter did when you draw his card, when he has control of the fight. And then, of course, how the punch scores, what type it was. Okay? So all the cards look the same. They just have different ratings on them. And then with the boxing action cards, you get a control factor. So this is going to determine who's in control in the round. And then your random number, which associates back to the boxer card to tell you if they landed a punch or not. And then the result of the punch. And then <clears throat> if they score a knockdown attempt, if it's the first one or a second one or a knockout, and then his count. So how long was he down if he went down and then how the judges are scoring. And then special conditions, injuries, and special actions. Okay. That's the meat of the game. We'll, uh, I got a run through make sure i understand the i want i want to play a few with the um <clears throat> new strategy rules see how they work and then we'll see how we'll see how um the game plays out i i'm going to have some random draws for my fights to begin but i'm going to start keeping their career stats get their rankings going and um i gotta tell you i really love the game title bout i was excited to see the updates the cards these cards look really good. I love having these boxes to keep them in. I think that's just like awesome. So, you know, and I probably looks like I needed to order another one of the clear ones to put all my boxing action cards in too. 
So next time I order some more cards, light heavies or middleweights, welders, um, that's what I got to do. And we'll get a chance to try out my, my uh, improvised game board and see how that works. And if it plays out pretty well, then, like I said, I'll post this on, on uh, Board Game Geek along with uh, my spreadsheets and stuff like that so other people can, can use the same systems I'm using. All right, <clears throat> that's it. I look forward to um, tackling this. Uh, this, is, this is right up, this is one of my uh, fall back on as a, uh, as, as a young man, um, not living at home, but able to, my dad's still around, able to play um, a game that he really liked, um, that I really liked. And so a lot of old memories with that. So I can't wait to get started on this. But I hope you enjoy it. I hope you're going to enjoy the videos when I do them. And yes, I'm still doing war games, but this is a great break for me. So I hope you look forward to it too. If you like the video, give me that thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And I'll see you guys pretty soon.